week and today we're going to be doing the March Shop My Stash and the products that we're going to be using and keeping and switching out. So hopefully you guys are into it. Let me know how you like this setup because I am trying different setups to see what form of Shop My Stash is shop my stashes that you guys would like so if you're interested in watching what i'm getting rid of and replacing then just keep on watching and before we go any further make sure you like comment and subscribe so i did go ahead and pull out all the items that i want to put back i did pull out the products that i want to replace it with so for starters we're going to replace the cody ear spine extra translucent powder as well as the black radiance cocoa kisses translucent powder we're gonna put those back and i use both of these quite a bit in february so i'm good on those i do have some lip products that i did use for the month of february i no longer i didn't use this one the ColourPop ultra glossy lip this one is in crystal ball I didn't end up using it, so I had it out since, I want to say about December. So since I haven't used it, I'm going to go ahead and put it away. All of these nudes I did use in videos or off camera, so I will be putting them back. I do have the Jazzy Girl Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Ritzy. I did use Beauty Bakery's Honey Whipped Lip Whip in Honey. I did use the new Maybelline liquid lipstick in Loyalist, as well as I use the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in Sultry. I am gonna put back my NYX Born to Glow Illuminator. This one is in Gleam. I used this a couple of times, and I think I got a good feel of it. I will be pulling it back out, but right now, I'm not gonna use it at the moment. I have some brow products and liners. Um, the Wet n Wild, I'm going to put back the Jordana, not Jordana, the Joa Beauty pencil. I'm going to put back these both are eyebrow pencils, as well as the Gabriella pencil liner. I'm going to put this one back as well. And then I have these three lip liners that I use mainly the whole month of February. It is the NYX Lip Liner in Coco, the NYX Lip Liner in Cafe, and then the City Colors in Coco. My two Nika K eyeshadow palettes, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and retire them, only because it's spring, around springtime now, so these deep mauve purple pinky shades are just not good right about now so i'm gonna put them back in my drawer i'm also gonna put this highlighter from ruby kisses back and this is the all over glow in bronze glow so we are gonna put this bad boy back i used it up enough i never did use my fenty pro filter setting powder in honey so i'm just gonna put her back the two foundations i decided to put back is the bobby brown Skin foundation, this one is in Golden Almond, as well as the Revlon Candid Glow Foundation, and this one is in Mocha. I'm gonna put both of these back, and the Revlon may be pulled back out sometime this month. And because I never really use my Fenty matchsticks and Express Oil and Truffles, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back as well. Oh, and my one eyebrow gel liner which is the pretty vulgar blacklist gel eyeliner i'm gonna put her back as well because i used her enough but i've been getting into getting back into my pencils so therefore i didn't want to kind of mix it up i just want to stick with the pencils for this month to see how we're going to be doing with that so the products up here that we're going to keep, we're going to keep the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. We're going to keep the NARS Radiant All Day Luminous Foundation. We're going to keep the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth and Coconut. We're going to keep all the butter glosses by NYX, including these two. I did use these two, that's why they're flipped upside down, but 
I actually really like these two shades. Both of these shades are Bit of Honey and Cinnamon Roll. I did decide to keep all of my bra products. I have the Crumb Swipe Right Brow Gel. I do have another Gabriella Eyeliner, which is brown for the brows. I kept the Wet n Wild Color Icon. This one is in dark brown. I do have my two mascaras by Too Faced and Benefit that I'm still working with. I have my LA Colors brow pencil as well as the Revlon brow pencil. I have two eyebrow archers that I just decided I'm gonna always keep in there. And I do still have the Lancome white base mascara. We're keeping all of the primers that we used last month, which is Elf, Too Faced, Wet n Wild, Ruby Kisses, another Elf and a Wet n Wild. We're gonna keep all those because I have been enjoying every last one of them. We still have our eye bases. Those are not going over P. Louise and NYX White Base. We still have our glitter liners that we have yet to use. And we do have three lip liners that we're still gonna work with, which is the Jordana Coco Loco, the Lit and Wild Gone Burgundy, and then MAC Night Moth. We're gonna keep those in and continue to use them. These are the concealers I decided I'm gonna keep. The MAC Longwear in NC45. The NYX Born to Glow in Warm Honey. We're gonna keep the Revolution Concealer in C13, as well as the Fenty Beauty 370. We're keeping all loose, highlight, loose eyeshadows and pressed eyeshadows, the singles, because we didn't use any of them. So we're going to keep every last one of them, which most of them are by Shop Miss A, as well as Michael Make Mayo Makeup Pigments, the Elegantly Me Cosmetics, and of course the One Single Color Pop. We're going to keep all those in. I do still think we have way too many eyeliners, but we are going to keep them. We have the L'Oreal Voluminous. We have the L'Oreal Infallible. We have the NYX Matte. We have Evian New York. We have the NYX White Base. The L'Oreal Superstar. And then we have the Fenty Beauty Liquid Liner in Neptune. And we still have the Lancome eyeliner that we haven't finished up yet. Now in the last section, we do still have our Ruby Kisses Matte Finish in Chestnut. We do still have the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. We still have the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Golden Flower Crown. As well as the Hakari Blush Bronzer shimmer bronzer thing that we only use for highlighting and i am going to keep my elegantly me cosmetics blush in touch of spots we're going to keep all those in so let's move on into the products that i pulled out project pan i am going to finish up the cover girl locket setting spray which barely has any left but she is a part of the project pan so therefore i am going to try to use her up. I am going to bring in my MAC Pro Concealer Palette. Medium Deep Shade. And you guys, I've been having this for a while, but y'all know it's a part of the project pan and I want to finish it up. So we will be using this to carve out our brows and or use as color correctors. We want to use this all up. I do have another setting spray, which is LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. It's the HD. Setting spray, I really don't like it, but I want to use it up, and she's a part of the project pan, so we're going to try to use her up this month. The two project pan foundations that I'm going to bring in is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick and 330 Toffee Caramel. You guys, I barely have any left, so I really want to try to use her up this month, and plus she's a light foundation for everyday wear, so hopefully we can use her up. And I also pulled out the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline, and this one is in Spicy Brown. 
project pan, you guys. We're trying to use up all the project pan items. So those are all the project pan items. Now we do have a whole lot of new products that we're gonna be trying. Hence the reason why I'm not going into my drawers this month to pull out anything because between the project pan, the remainder of February and new products, we don't need anything else for this month. So I am gonna be testing out the watermelon gel moisturizer from Clean and Clear. I did just haul this on my channel. So if you guys missed that drugstore haul, check up in the i card or down below and you will catch that video. Um, the primer that I'm gonna, going to be using this month, which I will be doing like a first impressions type of video on is the Neutrogena Matte Primer and Serum. It's the Shine Control one. And all of these products were in that drugstore haul, so make sure you go and check it out because I will be doing first impressions and stuff on these new products. I do have a couple of new concealers that I did pick up from the drugstore as well. And it's going to be the Milani Concealer Perfect. This one is in 165 Deep Tan. I just picked up a, another shade. You guys know I have like four different shades of this. I did pick up the Neutrogena Radiant, Con Radiant Cream Concealer. This one is in the shade Golden Medium Deep. So we will be testing that bad boy out. As well as the Elf Camo Concealer in Deep Chestnut. We will be putting all three of these into the shop massage. The only new foundation that I'm gonna add is the new, well not new, but it's new to me, L'Oreal True Match. And I did get the shade this time in Deep Warm, which is W9.5. I spoke all about this in the drugstore video. So like I said, go check it out after you finish watching this video. I will be pulling in the Revolutions and Patricia Brights um face palette and this one is in you are gold i'm gonna add this to the collection for the blush the contour and the highlight so that will go next to the revolutions face blush palette now the new setting powder that i will be bringing in is the revolutions deep honey loose setting powder i want to test this out so bad so i went ahead i went ahead and pulled it out for this month because I really want to see what it's about. Nobody has talked about it or anything, so I decided I should pick it up and test it out and see if it's a hidden gem that nobody talked about. I do have a single eyeshadow, which is by e.l.f. That Not a single eyeshadow, a mini eyeshadow by e.l.f. that I wanted to play with, and this is the Bite Size Eyeshadows in Cream and Sugar. So this will be one of the palettes I will be playing with all month long. So hopefully you guys are excited about the products that I'm bringing to you all and all of the videos that is coming your way. I do have quite a few lip products that I'm going to be bringing in. I did pick up the new Morphe. I did pick up Morphe lipsticks in True Story and Taunt. I did find a ABH liquid lipstick in Toast. So all three of these will be going in this month's Shop My Stash, right along with the Revlon's Ultra HD, what is this, High Shine Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade. I'm not for sure of the shade of this one, but if I could find it on Revlon's website, I would have it linked in this video. But all four of these will be added as well as the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss. This one was um pretty new it's one of the zodiac sign lip glosses and this one is in pisces it has a lot of glitter in it so you guys may be seeing this i'm not quite for sure but i kind of wanted to try it out for you all and then i did pull out the la girl ultimate eye pencil and this one is in last and brown but i decided to use this as a lip liner and not not a eyeliner because I don't do brown in my waterline at all. So I wanted to test it out as a lip color. And then the last new product that I picked up is the L'Oreal Bambi, the Bambi Eye Mascara. This one is in the Black is Black. I cannot wait to try this out. The commercial got me, so I really wanted to 
test this out and show it some love and maybe replace my minis for this bad boy. So there will be a whole lot of first impressions in this month worth of content. I love doing first impressions as well as doing drugstore first impressions so that I can let you guys know what I suggest that you go and pick up or highly recommend you go and pick up or what you can skip over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what I have going on for this month in Shop My Stash. The subscribe button as well as the notification so that you won't miss any of the videos that are coming. Um, I hope I did a good job. Hopefully you guys will be the judge and let me know. I have a couple of new items um, that need to be hauled to be brought to you guys. So stay around. So stay around and be on the lookout for all of those videos. I did get back with BoxyCharm. So BoxyCharm videos will be back as well as I got a PR package that I wanted to show you guys and keep, give you guys a quick little video on. So hopefully you guys are just here to stick around. Um, and that's it with this Shop My Stash. In the words of my loyal subscriber, you guys keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one.